something magical about the explosion of colours in the night sky. Whatever the reason, we love to celebrate with bright lights and big bangs. We've been celebrating with fireworks for ages, since the 7th century in fact. Fireworks were invented in China and were originally thought to be able to get rid of evil spirits and bring good luck. But when you're staring up at the starry explosions, have you ever pondered, what makes fireworks bang? We're going to have to learn something about chemistry. One of the most important components in fireworks is gunpowder. Well, on that note, I guess we should probably blow some stuff up. This bit's dangerous, so don't try this at home, kids. Gunpowder, or black powder, is the earliest known chemical explosive. First recorded in China in the 11th century, the discovery led to the invention of firework rockets and weapons. Since then, it has been used for cannons, rifles, and just generally blowing things up. Most of its applications have been replaced with smokeless explosive powders, but a lot of fireworks still use traditional gunpowder for their bangs. When heat is added, gunpowder undergoes a substantial combustion reaction. Any time anything burns, it is undergoing a combustion reaction. This reaction involves oxygen and a fuel and is almost always exothermic. Gunpowder consists of three components. Saltpeter, the common name for potassium nitrate, charcoal and sulphur. The potassium nitrate in the gunpowder decomposes at high temperatures to provide oxygen for the reaction. The charcoal, which is a source of carbon, is the fuel that burns. The sulphur, which also acts as a fuel, burns at lower temperatures, releasing even more energy and lowering the ignition temperature of the mixture. An initial lift charge of gunpowder propels the firework into the air and lights a time delay fuse. When the shell is at its apex, the central burst powder is lit. The resulting explosion creates a sonic boom and lights the pea-sized spheres called stars. The stars contain the compounds for the special effects, like colours, and the way the stars are packed into the shell determines their shapes. Different metal salts produce different colours. Strontium for red, sodium for yellow, barium for green, and my favourite, copper for blue. What gives a firework its bang? It's down to a matter of chemistry.